Welcome back, Bikers. Today I'm bringing you the second episode on the Saprilia Rebuild project. As you guys can see, the engine is out, and today we'll be finally taking a look at it. We will be taking the engine apart. We'll be installing a brand new carbon fiber reed valve, a sport production forged and CNC machined head. Obviously, we're going to be advancing the timing with the stock components, as I told you guys last time. And last but not least, we'll be porting the cylinder. But before we do any of that, we gotta clean this engine up. Look at it, this thing is filthy, man. Look at that, look at all that gunk. We'll be cleaning this engine up, and then we'll get to work. Okay, let's get straight to it, guys. Okay, right now, as you guys can see, we're cleaning the engine with some clean fuel. We don't use water, because it might rust the engine. Okay, we just got done washing the engine. Now my dad will hit it with the compressed air just to dry it off a little more. As you can see, it's like wet. And then we'll take it on on the other workbench because it's much more clean. Okay. All right, guys, here we are on the other workbench. Uh, we put the engine on this stand, on this engine stand. We also have some goodies for this engine right here, a Kane 36 millimeter flat slide carburetor. We used to use this back on the, as I told you guys before, on this Aprilia RS125. We have this reed valve, this Adige Italian uh, branded reed valve. As you can see, it's pretty different from the other ones. That's a different design. Obviously, we also have a carbon fiber one here. Uh, we have uh, needle cages, brand new needle cages, because obviously we got a change them. these are silver plated needle needle cages we have uh, racing competition ngk spark plugs these are gp125 spark plugs these are the ones that, you, that they used to use back in the day in the world championship here we have a bunch of main jets and slow jets as you guys can see we have a bunch of them as you guys can see we can play around with those we we'll play around with the carburetor i have another one uh, a 30, a 34, and a 28. We'll see which one uh, fits the best for this engine over here. Okay, let's get uh, let's get to work. So my dad is gonna take the intake manifold off and also the reed uh, reed valve. We're gonna change it with the carbon fiber one, but that's later because we have to, obviously we gotta take the cylinder off and port the cylinder as well. He's also gonna take off the exhaust manifold over here. Anyways, let's see. This is where we can advance timing on the bike with the stock components. We're gonna use the dial gauge, bring the piston up to top 10 center, then we're gonna check the degrees basic. Stock read valve. Read valve and stock read valve. And stock one kinda ugly though. <laughs> Yes, sir. I'm gonna place this over here. Now we have four more bolts to go. Then we can pull out the cylinder. Oh, uh, snap. The piston. You. <laughs> the piston rings. Yeah, this piston is done. Okay, my dad is taking the piston off the engine so that we can check the rod play and to see if the bearings are worn. <laughs> Let's see if uh, the bearings pop. Let's see if they make any noise. Try to move the crank. No way. Oh, good. Yeah, it makes a grinding noise. Right? Grinding noise yeah. It makes a grinding noise. That's not that's not good. So we'll probably be taking the engine apart, changing the bearings. I think I'm a rod. What? I think it's one connecting rod. The connecting rod? Yeah. I think it's kind of late now. We'll probably be back here tomorrow to port the engine, take the whole damn thing apart, and you gotta order a new connecting rod, and new bearings and stuff. So yeah, we'll be here tomorrow. Well, uh, it'll still be the same video for you guys. I'll just add a cool transition like this one. And we're back guys. Okay, so long story short, my dad is gonna 
we measure in the intake and exhaust uh, stock port values so that we can go and measure uh, how much we can basically work on this engine. This is an extremely meticulous and precise job since these engines are nickel plated in the bore. So if you scratch them up, you can like basically ruin the engine, you're gonna get it replated and it's gonna take a month. As you guys can see, my dad is currently measuring the cylinder and stuff. Okay, I guess um, we are probably ready to port the cylinder. So, yeah. are we ready? Yeah, yeah. Should we get the precision Dremel tool, Paul? Yeah. Okay, okay, let's go, let's go, let's go. We will get that. All right, it's been a few days uh, since the last few clips you guys have seen. Unfortunately, we couldn't get the porting finished on that day, but my dad got it done during his own time. Uh, I'll be showing you what has been done to the cylinder. Obviously, I didn't record the whole porting process because it's kind of boring and it's not like you guys can see anything. So it's better to show the finished process, the finished product. Here we have a stock uh, cylinder, same 122 Rotax cylinder, but it's stock compared to the modified one the ported one okay by the way the, this cylinder is still not quite finished the ported one we gotta like round off the edges with some sandpaper i'll show you guys how to do that right right after this i'm gonna be showing you guys some shots from above so that you can easily spot the differences from the stock and modified engine obviously the first thing that you guys can see right away is the main uh, intake opening as you can see the stock one this is basically the opening over there and the modified one, it's this. We cut off the barrier over there, a part of the cylinder basically to allow more fuel to yeah, go inside the engine basically. Well, not the engine, the combustion chamber. And, and the same thing has been done to the side uh, ports over there, side intake ports. Let me show you the stock one, the stock engine. These are the two ports, these and this. This one over here and this one. As you can see, the ports are kind of small and they have a very weak angle. What, what do I mean by a weak angle? Uh, these two ports kind of stop the fuel flow basically. Compared to the modified one, that's what we want to get rid of. First of all, we make the openings wider, the uh, side intake openings are wider and the angle is much more aggressive. That is to allow a better fuel flow towards the combustion chamber basically. Okay, so guys, this right here, this is the stock exhaust port and this one is the obviously the ported and modified one. You can already see a, a huge difference just by looking at it far, from far away. Anyways, a close-up shot. These two holes there, that one there, and this one there, those are the booster openings. Look how tiny they are on the stock, on the stock exhaust port. The ported one, as you guys can see, and this one. We opened, we made the booster holes wider, as you guys can see over there. And just overall, the whole exhaust port is wider as well. Obviously, the engine is not quite finished yet. We also, we still have to polish the exhaust port. I'll be showing you guys the process right now. Okay, so right now my dad is showing you guys how to polish the exhaust port. Compared to before, it's way more polished. You just gotta you know, spend some time with this, you know, 10, 20 minutes. Yeah, yeah 10, 20 minutes with this, uh, with this tool over here, and you get your exhaust port uh, polished. Yeah. 
So guys, this is what you have to do once you finish building your engine. You get rid of the rough edges basically. Some time passed from the last recording, so some more goodies came in. For example, the boys and cow weeds, the Wasner piston, the gasket, the oil seals and stuff like that. I won't be showing you guys the piston right now because I'll show you guys uh, the piston once we are assembling the engine. For now, uh, yeah, let's try. Uh, we'll be taking the block apart right now. So yeah. There are some modifications to the flywheel that, that you can make on the stock component to make it lighter and spin much faster. Uh, we're gonna show you that kind of stuff on the next video while we advance timing. Obviously, because right now we can't. We gotta change the bearings, the connecting rod and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, uh, make sure you stay tuned uh, for that. the clutch yeah. the cage is a bit damaged that look you see these dots I think we oh wow this is damaged this is hella damaged I think we have a better one you know yeah it yeah we, we're gonna probably change the cage over here the, the how do you call it the clutch cage We're taking these bolts apart so that we can separate basically the well you know we can open the block once we take these bolts out right pa yeah yeah now my dad will be using the air pressure <coughs> again yes sir to take off the flywheel We're actually nearly done basically, right Pa? Yeah. You can already feel it by hands that it's not good. I wonder if they can... Yeah, you see that noise? You can yeah, hear that yeah. noise, right? It's, it's not good, it's not good. We're taking the engine off the engine stand because obviously now we got to separate the block. Yes sir, we're nearly there. Yo, that's wow! We did it, we did it. Dad. Show them the noise. That's terrible man. <laughs> these, these bearings are fried, these are cooked. Show me the crank. There you see, there, there it is. Anyways, we got we got the uh, crankshaft and everything out. Yeah, you can hear the play. <laughs> Look at the bearing. It's cracked, man. It's Look at the thing, huh? Oh, this is, it has two cracks. Okay, guys, we finally took the block apart. Well, that's it for today, guys. Uh, on the next episode, we'll be modifying the flywheel, we'll be modifying the clutch wheel also, the clutch case, clutch wheel, we'll be modifying that, we'll be putting the engine back together, installing the brand new piston, the newly ported cylinder, and the spool production head, everything, all the goodies, you know, installing the Boysen uh, reed valve, all, all that good stuff, you know, and what else, oh, also, we'll be advancing timing, so, Make sure to stay tuned for the next episode, guys. I mean it, man. The next episode will be the best episode of this series, man. I, I promise, man. I promise. I swear. Make sure to follow me on Instagram. I'll put it uh, on the screen right now, somewhere here. On my Insta, Facebook, Twitter. I'll put it all on the screen. That's all for today, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to drop a like, sub. See you in the next one, bikers. Peace out.